Hello from SlideNerd and hello from Weaves. What's up folks, in this vid, that is the third part of our string class methods, I'm going to go ahead with some more methods and let us see what they are. So first, here we have our string s which is hello from Weaves and SlideNerd. The first thing I'm going to convert them to a byte array by saying byte buff, something like that, right? And I'm going to say s dot get bytes. Now this s dot get bytes returns me a byte array which I'm storing inside this variable called buff. I should actually make it something like this because that's the recommended practice. So this right now you guys are probably wondering why the hell should I convert this into a byte array. Well, let's actually go ahead and print this array and see what happens by saying int i equals to 0 i less than buff dot length. Don't worry if you don't understand arrays because I've still not talked about arrays in detail in our playlist system.out.println I'm gonna print each element inside the byte array using a for loop so control s shift f6 and you guys can see there's a big list of numbers and you guys are wondering what this is this is actually the sky values of all the characters you have here the byte array gives us that alright so now the reason why the reason why we use this method is all the network operations are done using this method you can write to files read from files using the byte array alright and you guys are gonna find this very useful in android so moving on next i can also convert the string s to a character array by saying s dot to character array alright and this will this is gonna give me a character array which i can call as char arr again i can use a for loop to traverse through each elements and that is gonna give me everything from h to d alright that is the second method next i can test if there is a string which is empty or not for example if i say if i say a string like string s2 and if i leave it as empty this is an empty string in java so if i want to test if there is something which is empty like this i can say s2 dot is empty now this is going to give me a boolean if it is empty it will give me true otherwise it will give me false so let me go ahead and actually print the result out by saying system so now when i print this as you guys can see it says true but if i print for s then it's gonna give me a false because s is not empty the reason why we use this is empty method is for form validation if you're making servlets or jsp pages you're probably gonna ask user parameters and there you can use this method to test if the string is empty or not and next very important method that is gonna be your length for example s dot length this gives me the number of characters i can simply store this inside an integer by saying int result equals to length i can simply print this out as you guys can see it says 29 so that's the length of the first one if i say this s2 dot length it's gonna give me zero because there is nothing inside right so that's the length method then i can also convert s to an uppercase or a lowercase by saying s dot to uppercase now remember your original string s can never be modified because this is a string object not a string buffer so this is going to give you a new, new string which i'm going to store inside s2 and i can simply print s2 out here and that's going to give me the uppercase version as you guys can see it's full caps lock if i say s2.2 lowercase again everything will be small this capital h has been converted to a small h over here that's what the lowercase method does again it gives you a new string and next i'm going to show you the trim method I'm going to add some additional spaces at the start and the end of the string s and I'm going to say string s2 is s dot trim. Now what this does is it removes the extra spaces from the beginning and the end and gives us a new string which we can store inside s2. So I'm going to print that and as you guys can see there is no space after this. There is no space before this which I had over here. Again this is used for validation especially when you're storing information to a database you want to make sure that you're not wasting extra space by storing all this spaces out here so you can remove that by using this s dot trim so remember it gives you a new string so this is the some some more methods which we saw in the next vid i'm going to start talking about the last but not the least and the most important methods inside the string class so i hope you guys enjoyed what you saw if you like please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.